everyone and welcome back to the human experience challenge um if you've noticed i have redone their house once again um the way it was it just wasn't working i really don't like these little poles right here but i had to put a half wall as the roof and so that's how they look so this is actually the top of the first floor right here um, so on the roof itself, we have her plants, which are considered all sheltered, so they will grow year-round. We have the dining table with chairs, and um, hopefully these will work. We have a radio up here for um, the toddlers. We have their bear up here, the grill, and that's it. And to get up there, you come up these stairs in the back. Um, I have this that they can't use yet because um, of the glitch, so I have to put the mod in before they can use this. Um, this that they got after the toddler play date. Um, we have their little tent, we have picnic tables, her little lemon grove there, and their chess table. And um, it's still considered a 64 tile home because this does not connect to make it um, tiled in up here. So all the living space is down here and it's pretty much kind of the same. I used the same thing, I just knocked walls out. The bathroom is in the same place. Um, they have a little kitchen here, a little living room area going on right there and um, they have their own bedroom now. Um, so they have their bed in here and then this little room right here with the three cribs in it um, for the toddlers to sleep in. And they also have some blocks upstairs on the roof and some down here as well. And um, well, I used to have all of these up here, but they got taken out apparently. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of that little glitch that's been happening in like my not so berry challenge videos where um everything just gets knocked down off the wall uh, and put back into the inventory so i guess we'll see okay um so she goes to work at nine um he goes to work at ten there's no reason for them to take the day off. She has to treat and diagnose five patients to um, level up to level 10. So, let's see. What does everybody's needs look like? Okay, we have a lot of toddlers that need to go to the potty. Oh my, um, yes. Let's get up. Let's, um, oh, the crib's not even locked. Um, let's get up and, um, let's let Apollo out, please. All right, um, yeah, I need you to pick him up, please. Luna needs to get up and I need you to, oh my goodness, pick her up. Um, I asked you to pick, oh my goodness, pick him up please. Alright, I need to unlock this crib. Alright, well. Apollo might have to go in his diaper because he wouldn't come get him. Oh my goodness, why can't you just get her out of the crib? Pick her up. Pick up. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. They, they got him in here. Okay. Stop. Don't you touch nothing in that fridge. Nothing.
it's crazy that as soon as I log on to the game, I put them in the cribs, had them go to sleep, and everything worked out just fine. But no. As soon as um, I need to go get them out of the crib. No, nah, that doesn't work. Okay, um, you. I need you to cook. Just, just cook a healthy meal, please. Just cook this. Cook two, four, cook five. So that we don't have extras all the time. Okay, you. Can you let her out yet? Um, I mean, you got her in there. All right, unlock crib. Pick her up. All right, how about... All right, and then I want you to pick her up. All right, you, I want you to come in here and go potty. I know, sweetie, you need to go to the bathroom, but your dad's being all slow about this process. Okay, and then I want you to go here. All right, and then I want you to let Apollo out that you let use his diaper because you refused to pick him up. Oh my gosh, I mean, this was ridiculous. Go pick him up, please. <sighs> okay, so let's go up. Why is she acting like she's pregnant when I know she's not? Stop. Stop. Okay, I want you to put Apollo here, please. You, I want you to go here. Okay, so... That is Luna. Okay, so let's um, disable pickup and let's put down Luna. Disable pickup um, and disable pickup. Okay. All right. Oh, goodness. Stop stretching like that. Okay. All right, and then I want you to put down Astra. All right, go get her. Oh my goodness. Why does this have to be so complicated? No. I want you to grab a serving for Apollo. I want you to grab a serving for Luna. I want you to take a moodlet solver because you just cannot take care of yourself. I mean, this was the most complicated process I have ever gone in in my entire life. And then I want you to take this. Yep, just set it down. <sighs> Never mind. Okay. Um, who knows what we're going to have since I took most of my um, CC out. Stop eating.
Okay, that should have fixed you there. Let's come here. We have to successfully, it, um, let's swap for a sample. Let's um, take temperature. We've already got a weak diagnosis. Wow, okay. Okay. All right, so we've got that. All right, so let's go analyze patient sample. Alexander Goff. All right, let's speed that process up since um, that takes forever. All right, and we know we're gonna probably have to log well, tomorrow's harvest fest. Awesome. Okay, let's log these analysis results. And we have a compelling diagnosis of bloaty head. Bloaty head or starry eyes. I've seen nothing to show me either one. Okay, so let's um let's go ahead and check the eyes until I see something. Who is it that swats? Oh no, I need my cheat sheet again. Okay, um Okay, come check his eyes while I Cruise through to. Okay, um, a probable diagnosis. All right, starry eyes are the ones that swat. So we will go with starry eyes for you. Okay, and then let's do our treat patient. Oh no, we have an outbreak nearby. Okay, well, can I finish this first? Treat patient with starry eyes. All right, and then click on front desk, and then we'll go to the outbreak. Okay. Did I at least get him taken care of? At the Llama Land Library. Did I put this down? That's the hospital. Oh. What? That's a restaurant. Okay. All right. Treat sick victims. All right. Did I at least treat Alexandra Goff? Uh, okay, I did. All right. Treat Celine. Treat Casey. Treat Grace. Okay. Go treat them. There's only three patients, so you've got this, girl. You've got this. Okay. I'm completely unaware of what's going on at this point. Um. Treat sick victims. Click on a sum the flashing symbol over their head and all right, I've been doing that, but it's not doing anything. They're just walking away from me. Okay. He must not be too sick if he's oh there he goes. Okay. Alright, let's treat let's treat him, please. I'm totally clueless at this point. Alright, he's all better. Oh no, Grace. Let's treat Grace. She's 
collapsed out on the floor, and so is this guy. This is a cute little library. I've never seen it before. Interesting. What's upstairs? Just this? Okay. Okay. Um, what do we need to do? Okay, she's better. He's better. Okay, let's return to the hospital and finish our shift. Okay, well that was nice and interesting. Um, okay, so... Poor Alexander Goth is still just chilling around. He hasn't left yet. Okay, so let's swab Jeffrey. Swab for a sample. Okay. He's got a fever. Great. All right, let's scan his body. And then let's try this sample again. All right, and while we're here and I already have it open, let's go ahead and take their temperature. Did he just laugh? Um, I'm not sure. Weak diagnosis. Well, that narrows it down. All right, and um, okay, we can't do that yet. All right, just keep an eye on you, Jeffrey. Okay, um, so let's log your analysis results and then we'll go check his eyes. Um, oh, that's compelling diagnosis. Okay, we've narrowed it down even more to itchy plumb bob, sweaty shivers, or llama flu. Sweaty shivers, the patient may itch. Don't think that's it. Um, llama flu. The patient may shiver, have a cloud of gas around them. Um, what's itchy plumb bob? Probably present with a rash, and the patient may itch a lot. Um. I'm going to go with llama flu. My patient left. Oh well, um, that's because nobody's helping me. Ah, Marco Hanshi Lanuva. Uh huh. Room. Huh. Okay. Parsegaf Averoi Cueva. All right, so let's treat this patient. Was I right? Oh, I was wrong. Okay. My bad. Um, let's swap for a sample. Sorry, Jeffrey. Okay, and then let's analyze his sample. Let's 
watch good old Pierce here, see if he gives us any clues. Um, there's no chance for a diagnosis right now. Can I work on him some more? Can I go back and fix what I did wrong? Did I kill him? What? What's going on? All right, Pierce is just sitting here chilling. Um, so. Okay, and then let's, um, what happened? She was confused by the data. Um, well, there's nothing I can do for you. Um, let me go to you because who are you? You're our nurse. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let's scan this one. Um, because I can't scan kids for some reason. At least I don't think. Okay, he's got a belly ache. Excuse me, get out of my way. Alright, we're having a big old conference right there in his room. Okay, let's not. Alright. You'll be okay. I promise it won't hurt. So I've got one out of the five right now. So um yeah, one out of the five. And all my patients keep leaving. Alright. Oh, we're gonna put him back in his bed already. Okay. Works for me. All right, he's gonna hop back up there. We are going to swap for a sample. We are going to take the temperature. All right, burning belly. That's what I thought it was, was burning belly, but um, Let's analyze Baco's sample. All right, um, burning belly, visible stomach pain, maybe fever, requires surgery, and it's rare. Okay, but he had a stomach ache, I could tell. And um, I think we're gonna stay a little late because I would really, really like to get at least two out of this. Triple threat, is he just coughing? No. Okay. Um. All right, she's reached level nine of the logic skill. That's awesome. Okay. Um. Let's scan. Scan body. And let's see. I think. I think it's burning belly. We're gonna go for it. I hope I'm right. If I'm not, I'm sorry, Baco. I've never really liked you anyway. So. Okay. Okay, so now we have to treat his patient and we have to refer him for surgical. Let's go, Baco. Let's hope I'm right. If I'm not, uh, uh -huh. well, sorry. Okay. This is the most interesting concept I've ever seen. Uh -huh. oh. 
I don't think she knows how to work it. Oh, what are you doing with that in there? Maybe that's why you don't feel good, sir. Was it right? It was right. Yes. Awesome. 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 Okay. So we've got two out of the five. Um, let's come back down here and see what else we can do with you. Um, let's check your ears, maybe. We've already done your patient sample. And then how about if we scan the body? Uh, Baco doesn't like I really fixed him much. Bingo. Um, there's nothing in between your ears, quite literally. Alright, um, let's check his eyes. And for good measure, let's take his temperature. Okay, he's kind of dizzy. Um, weak diagnosis. Um, starry eyes. Um, I haven't seen him swat bloaty head. Um, headaches, sometimes steam coming out of their ears. Llama flu, shiver, have a cloud of gas around them. Um, uh, let's just go for it. What have we got to lose at this point? It's like you get fired if you get it wrong. So let's treat this patient. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh well. Yeah, I might want to like just leave because I'm not very good at this. Um, a compelling diagnosis already. All right, let's um, swap for a sample, I guess. All right, he's itchy. Oh, itchy and a rash. I'm sorry, kid. Um, he's itchy and a rash. What were the two choices I had? Llama flu and sweaty shivers. The patient may itch. Llama flu, the patient may shiver. Have a cloud of gas around them, cough and sneeze. Orange and green spot rash. Okay, so let's go with llama flu. Let's go with llama flu. Okay, so we're going to take a sample and... But at the same time, they do itch. Yeah, I think that's llama flu, definitely. I asked you, okay, did you diagnose? So can we treat? Yes, okay. Will you stop? Okay. Uh, I was wrong again. I am not very good at this at all. All right, Orange Bailey Moon. Um, let's see. Do we have anybody's stuff that we have to analyze? Yeah, let's just go ahead and analyze this. All right, so I've gotten two out of the five. I guess that's not bad for one shift. Um, all right, so she made 3,800 simoleons. Good news. Okay, so let's look at her skills. What do we have 
going on that she needs to be working on. All right, we've done fishing. All right, cooking didn't count. Logic, she's at a nine. Um, she'll still work on that at work. Knitting, she's at a six. Fitness, a six. Gardening, a six. Charisma, a six. Wellness, a five. Okay. And then writing, she hasn't even started. Okay. So, um, I don't know what this is, why it's just sitting there, um, but let's come up here. Okay, so where is Astra in the bathroom? Okay, and oh my gosh. Okay, what does he need to do? Friendly interactions. Okay, um, Astra, do we have anything going on? We do not. Okay, um, so why don't you just come on out here and play make-believe? All right, Luna, all you need is thinking, my dear child. Um, you're doing okay, so why don't you come study shapes? Apollo, we know you're doing fine, so you just do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, okay. Let me stick this in somebody's inventory so that I can get it down to the fridge. Okay, that. We have that, and we have that. Okay. All right, let's open. Let's put all of this away. All right, you, I know you've got food in your inventory somewhere because you keep eating it. Okay, so let's come in here. Um, I kind of want to just wait and do Harvest Fest um, in the next video, but um, where's my open? There it is. And, um, why don't you come eat that? Um, you. Why do I have two doors right there? That's odd. Okay, I only have two. Yeah, see all that shelves and stuff popped off again? Okay. Alright, where are you going? You're going to get in line. Okay, but I'm going to stop you when you get down there because I think... Actually, you know what? You just go do what you're going to do. Just go do what you're going to do. Um, let's invite over the aliens. I need you to come out here, sir. Okay, they should all be able to to come over um i can't guarantee what they're all going to be wearing but um okay sir this is really inappropriate um can we perhaps put on some clothing um that's not it where is the the dresser there we go um change outfit absolutely it looks like he has nothing except pajamas to wear okay well pajamas it will be sir and you this is kind of creepy that none of my sims now have clothes um what do you have that you could possibly wear uh guess we'll go with your fishing outfit sir okay oh my goodness none of them are wearing clothes why are none of these aliens have anything that's EA on them okay let's see what you got oh my um I guess this it will be okay all right, um, 
I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. They could still go up top. Um, how about let's stop him and um, can we do let's brighten his day? Um, you're not gonna go play in the toilet. Um, let's see, can she come and babble to this tree? Okay, and um, let's flatter, whatever. All right, and so let's go to him and um, brighten his day. Oh my. Yay for taking out <laughs> CC. Well, he has nothing suitable to wear. Um, hold on, can we like put him in a disguise or something? Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll just put them all in disguises and hopefully that will fix um, all of these little, um, that's not the one I wanted, Sim commands, occult, disguise, disguise self please. Oh, um, sorry, you're still not wearing clothes. Okay. Oh, that's the only outfit that you have in your disguise. Okay, well then I guess that's just what you will wear. Um. Can you ask about his day? Um, ask about hobbies and skills. Alright, she's out here talking to her plants as well. Um, can we put him in? Okay. Um, oh my goodness. We have a mess maker over here. Let's not do that, please. Let's um, discipline this behavior. We're going to yell at him for making such a mess. Why is he sad? Because he got a scraped knee. Well, that's... I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, sir. I need you to continue... All right, we need to do a few more interactions. Okay, give a heartfelt compliment. All right, Luna is sleepy, hungry, everything. You need to go to the bathroom. Okay, well, go into the potty. Um, you need to go potty. Alright, um, right, so let's come on up here and let's cook, um, let's not do that, let's, oh my gosh, stop! Alright, let's cook some pan seared bass and we're going to go ahead and cook the whole party size. Alright, so let's come on up here and let's have you put um, Luna in there, please. So Luna, I need you to stop doing that for right now. Thank you. It's going to take me forever to get all these kids put away. I'll be so glad when Apollo ages up. Whenever that might be. Okay, so let's see. Enable pickup. Nope. 
enable pickup. Nope. Oh, yes, yeah, she likes cooking. Sure, she can like cooking. Okay, and then I want you to um, grab a serving for Luna, please. I want you to stop. I want you to stop. I want you to put down Apollo. And then Astra, I want you to stop. And I want you to put down Astra. Okay, so here's Luna's food. You go ahead and eat that, Luna. Thank you. Okay, so then I'm going to have you grab a serving for Apollo. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. We're going to have Apollo eat that. And then we are going to have you grab a serving for Astra, please. All right, and where is that pan seared bass? And let's carry that up. Um, actually, we're going to carry that over here and then I'm going to have you call to meal and eat um yes all of those okay sounds good to me all right can you put her down oh my gosh thanks Put down Astra, please. All right, you're just going to stand there and hold that. All right, put it down, please. All right, Luna. All right, you're going to, oh, good. You went ahead and started eating on your own. Good girl. All right, he's going to come call everybody over to eat. Um, he still has not finished his interactions yet. All right, so I need you to... Um, brighten his day. I need you to, yeah, stand up because brighten his day. They're all just still sitting up here in their high chairs. All right, Astra, why don't you talk about your favorite color to her? Okay, that was an odd story. Okay. Um, I wish I could do like that little story like adults can where they can um, do a group story. Just have all three of them telling a story together. I think that would be kind of cute. Oh, she is angry. All right, they all got out their high chairs on their own. He's passed out. Yay for us. He still has not finished his stuff for work. It's 2 a.m. Um, this is crazy. Right in his day. Once you get this done, we can send them out of here. Like, send them home. Right in day. Alright. Um, Andromeda. All right, Luna, what are you doing? No, Andromeda, I want you to put Apollo to bed. 
I told Luna to stop. I told her to stop. All right, and then I want you to put Luna to bed. All right, and then I want you to put Astra to bed. Okay, have you finished? You have. Awesome. Let's end this gathering. Let's um put that away. I think that was his. I don't think he finished eating. He didn't. Eat that. Okay. Um All right. Where are you going? No. No, you're not. Alright, she's putting Apollo to bed. I just have to keep a watch on them to make sure they don't go off and do what I asked. Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. Go potty. I didn't even check to see if he did. He doesn't. Okay. Alright, so let's go here. Um, we won't put Luna to bed. We'll put Astra to bed. Okay, where's Astra going? I don't know where Astra's going. She's going to go get put in bed. That's where she's going. Okay, and then why don't you clean this up? I mean, it's only three in the morning, people. Okay. All right, and then I want you to put Luna to bed. All right, after this, I want you to go to sleep. All right. Luna should be almost done. Okay, there we go. Go get her. Go get her. Andromeda. Okay. All right, so then I want you to go sell all here. I want you to um, sell all up here. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna put her to bed, even though then by then it's gonna be time to get back up. So, all right, so there's our holiday decorations. That's pretty cool. Go to sleep. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here. Um, oh no, stop, slow down. She got two of the five, um, I would think she wouldn't be going to work today, but you never know. Um, oh great, we have little gnomes. Little gnomes everywhere. There's one. Where's the other ones? Mm. Bathroom? No. I only see one gnome, which is kind of scary unless they had not. Oh, there's one. Normally we have three. And right now I only see two, so. I don't know where the other one might be. Oh, by the bed. There it is. Um, so when we come back in the next video, it will be Harvest Fest. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, hopefully they won't go to work. If she does, I might just, I don't know. Um, I'll see when we, when I pop back in to make the next video. Um, she has to really work on these skills. Um, we've been working so hard on her career that we really haven't been working on very many skills except logic, which she got, um, because of work. 
and fishing because I had her fishing a lot in the beginning of the series. So, um, let's see. We have, um, let's see, yeah. Logic's a nine, knitting's almost a seven. Then we have gardening, fitness, charisma, wellness and um i kind of let's see she already has two groups so let's create a third group for her and it's going to be her family group and um i'm gonna make that i was gonna do the alien head again oh wait we don't even have an alien head what am i talking about okay and we're going to do family and i can't add the kids until um, they become kids, so, but I guess for choose an activity, I'll just do the typical be friendly to everyone, um, choose an action, mischief and mayhem, use alien powers. Sure, you can do that at home. There's a reason why you can't. Um, let's also do like maybe clean. And we'll also do maybe homework. So um, the kids when they're older. Okay, so we'll just do those activities for now. And um, as they earn points, we can get skill boost to help her out a little bit along with this um so anyway i hope you're enjoying this challenge if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new here like my content please hit the subscribe button leave me some comments down below and i will see you in the next video bye